Congratulations, Doombots. You have completed the basics of Dragon Champions. You are now entering the Advanced Dragon Champions. Here, we're going to go into a little bit more detail. Uh, we're going to pay attention to uh, things that you need to play the game and get a core understanding of the game before you get into. And, of course, spending. We're going to get into spending. Um, this is where you're going to see a lot of me discussing where offers are and that kind of thing. But maybe we'll save some for like the really advanced stuff. For right now, what I want to talk about is the battle pass. Now, every game has a battle pass right now. They all do because it's like free money, right? It's like here's stuff, do stuff, get stuff. Cool. That's simple of every battle pass. I just defined it. This battle pass is probably the best money you can spend in the game. Just in general, across the board, regardless of what you specifically need, the value you're going to get out of this battle pass is very high. Let me show you what the battle pass is and why it's so relevant. So, starting off from scratch, we have the battle pass itself. Uh, the battle pass is basically a series of quests that take place over four weeks, including 30 days of daily quests and weekly events that you have the entirety of the time to complete. So, starting with this, every day you get 30 uh, battle pass points to a maximum of 3,500 in order to complete it. You only need 3,000 to complete the battle pass, so you have more than enough opportunities to do so by this. Now, if you get 30 uh, battle pass points or that ranks or whatever you want to call it a day, and there's 30 days, carry the one that's 900 points so you have 900 points or right here just for completing your dailies now you notice some of these are stuff that you should probably be doing anyway spending 800 campaign energy completing 15 heroic missions or farming three different characters you know take part in five arena battles this is stuff that's going to be real easy for you to complete you're going to get a handful this is worth about 900 points over the course of the battle pass um, and we'll look at what 900 points will get you a little bit later. Week one happens to be right now where you started, and you have 30 days to complete all of these quests. Not a week, just 30 days. And these tend to be a little bit more difficult, but not so much that they're crazy. Complete 30 tower side rooms. Now, the tower has nine side rooms, um, so assuming you did them all, it would take you about four days to complete assuming you can only do the lowest ones the bottom and you can do about two a day well then it's going to take you 15 days to complete whatever works out uh basically you have a month to get all of these done and as you build your roster it should become easier and easier to do so obtain 100 hero or here um order hero stones you will do that. You will farm hero characters. You will open orbs that have them or um, chests. You will win rewards that get them. You'll get these throughout the course of the day, week, month. You should be fine. Specifically obtain diesel rog hero stones. This is one of those cute little ones where you can either buy an offer that comes with them, get lucky in a draw and pull him, or specifically farm him. But again, you have a lot of time to get there. Deal crit damage to enemies 500 times in arena, tower, or tournaments. That's the three game modes you're going to play every day. So, have fun. You know, you shouldn't take you too hard to crit this many times. Especially since so many people have AoE. You might do one attack that crits everybody and that's five on the list. It seems like it's a lot. It's not. Defeat 35 orc heroes in those things. You get the drill, right? And as the weeks go on, they're not going to tell you until it gets there. But just to remind you guys, when week two starts, week one isn't over. You still have all of the opportunity to complete these quests. Same at week three, same week four. Week four is, of course, the hardest week because you only have about seven days to complete it. But that's not really a big deal. You should be able to get through on your own. Um, and that's it as far as the completion. Now, here's where things get a little bit more fun to look at. We get to look at what the rewards are. So just as a free player, if you complete the entire pass without spending money, just doing these missions, this is what you get. Reasonable, not a lot of the stuff here is stuff you have to specifically do. 
Uh, obviously, the later in the game you are, it's harder to target farm characters that you don't want. Like if you had a maxed out Diesel Rog, you probably wouldn't want to farm him. Maybe it won't show up anymore. That detail I don't know. Ultimately, just for playing the game, you're going to unlock this character uh, through free actions. Get a decent amount of gold, handful of ability materials, etc. And of course, boots, because we always need boots, right? The premium side is kind of like just over doubles everything. First, you get some spheres of agility, which, you know, unique ability items for funsy stuffs. But you're going to get double, a little bit over double the amount of character shards. You're going to get a little bit over double the amount of gold, triple the amount of certain resources, uh, tons of keys to open chests, a gear key for a special item, a ton of reasonable runes that are probably pretty decent, all things considered, and then a metric ton of gear. Now, all of this is not $10, which is the cost of the battle pass. $10.99 for me. This isn't $10. This is about a month's worth of playing the game and $10. So as you can see here, you can kind of track, you know, it takes you quite a bit to get uh, right around here, all of the free shards. So at 1600, you are no longer getting character shards anymore for Tobald. But you're still getting a handful of resources, some gold, etc., etc. Then you get to the bottom tier. And you can see that from a very early stage, you're getting some pretty decent resources. You know, if you only were to complete the dailies and nothing else, you'd still get a handful of character shards, some keys, some abilities to open stuff, some materials. You'd be in a pretty decent spot. Uh, obviously, you want to get as far as you can to get the most amount of character shards. And clearly, when you finish it, you get the best possible rewards. Duh, right? The further up, the better the rewards are. Just a reminder, you can buy the battle pass, the premium pass, anytime over the next 30 days. <laughs> That's crazy. You don't have to buy this. As a matter of fact, I would advise you not to buy this on day one. Uh, not to say you can't get some value. As a rule, whenever it comes to the Battle Pass, I have one simple rule. Whatever you think is worth $10, so whenever you get to a point on the Battle Pass and go, you know what? I think once I get this and everything below it, it's worth 10 bucks. that's when you buy it. You don't have to buy it on day one. I don't like buying things on day one because what would happen if, hypothetically, I got hit by a car and I couldn't play this game, or let's be clear, I didn't feel like playing this game because I got hit by a car, um, I wouldn't necessarily complete it and I'd feel like I wasted it. So always buy the Battle Pass if you're willing to spend money the second you already get the rewards that you think are worth $10, and then continue along the line to get as much as you can. I tend to wait until I'm pretty close to done to buy a battle pass, but for me, I wouldn't touch it until I got right here, the maximum amount of character shards that I could get before completing, just in case to make things line out. But again, please pay attention. These are the rewards you get for just playing through and completing the quest that you're going to do from playing. You might not even do it intentionally. This is the stuff you get for $10, assuming you've already unlocked these things. So it's not $10 for all these rewards, it's $10 for the opportunity to get them. The Battle Pass in most games tends to be the best value because it's not just buying something, it's spending time, effort, and energy, and then getting stuff at a very deeply discounted rate. As far as I'm concerned, if there was only one thing you were to purchase every month, just in general, kind of like a subscription fee almost, it would be the battle pass and it would be at the end of every month or whenever you get to the point. Um, that's it. There's no real details or about any specific battle pass. Some battle passes may be more interesting to you than others because of the character. That's up to you. This is a release character. This character is being released via battle pass, so you're going to have access to him through this pass as well as some other ways before they become regularly available in the game. 
That's it. Do me a favor, comment below and let me know, not necessarily how you feel about this battle pass, but how you feel about battle passes in general. Some people I know specifically free to play players feel like the battle pass is uh, less generous than it could be, especially when you're not spending money. Some people feel like all battle passes are terrible. Some people just like to spend money. So just let me know how you feel about battle passes in general. Then you can kind of throw in anything you feel about this. Other than that, uh, I've been Tony Skinjili. Have a good night, have a great day, and I will catch you later.